Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Kate and William show off their flirtatious side as an expert claims the couple's PDA has increased. According to body language expert Judy James, public shows of affection between the Prince and Princess of Wales are on the rise. According to body language expert Judy James, the Prince and Princess of Wales have increased the amount of times they exhibit affection in public. Her remarks come after a video of Kate gesticulating towards her husband at Royal Ascot went viral. The clip surprised royal enthusiasts as the couple normally keeps their distance from one another in public. The princess places her hand on William's back in a video footage that has been viewed over 130,000 times on Twitter, prompting the pair to exchange glances before Kate drops her hand and looks to the ground. Some royal admirers thought the duo was flirting, while others thought it was a less pleasant gesture. After viewing the video, Annis James stated that she does not believe William was attempting to ignore Kate, as many fans had suggested. This one fade-out probably had more to do with the couple appearing to be going down some steps and needing to focus, she noted. Here, Kate's hand goes down to William's bum, she explained. We can't tell if it connects, but the bum pat or contact normally indicates physical attraction or approbation as a gesture. You can hang a wall full of photos of William and Kate flirting or gazing at each other with the look of love to counteract this one moment, and their touch rituals and PDAs appear to be increasing rather than decreasing recently. Ence James said of Kate's body language, Kate, on the other hand, probably has the best royal smile in the business. Pitch perfect, it lasts for long periods of time without wilting, and she will frequently intensify the smile signals to appear amused, upbeat, and happy. The relationship of the Prince and Princess of Wales, now in its 23rd year, has been likened to that of William's grandparents, Queen Elizabeth Yu and Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, who were married for 73 years. William and Kate first met in 2001, while she was studying art history and the young prince was studying geography. In a recent episode of Hello! Magazine's A Right Royal podcast, royal expert Robert Jobson addressed the Wallaces' relationship. He recalled the couple's divorce when William was stationed with the household cavalry in Dorset and his four-year-old lover stayed in London. When they did break up on a more serious level, William quickly realized that he was completely wrong, Mr. Jobson added. He was most likely listening to outside sources or people, but looking back at his father's reluctance to marry or commit to Camilla early on, he may have realized he'd made a huge mistake and attempted to get her back. I think she, Kate, laid out some guidelines, some rules for how it had to go in some ways. She wasn't going to be messed with, and in doing so, demonstrated her strength. Photographs of the royal couple have proved the strength of their love over the years, despite the fact that William and Kate had previously been criticized for not exhibiting their devotion in public. During a visit to Birmingham in April, William placed his hand around Kate's waist in a rare display of affection. The body language guy, a YouTuber, saw the motion and commented that it was an excellent signal for a partner to know consciously and unconsciously that you were there with them, present and in the moment. He went on to depict William's move as a love gesture rather than an attempt to exert control over Kate. Another body language cue picked up by the YouTuber was the way the Princess of Wales exposes her neck when she turns to face William and smiles. Mr. Rosas viewed it as a feminine gesture that could imply Kate feels safe and protected by William. He also mentioned how, on an official visit to a restaurant, a customer phoned in an order, which William cheerfully accepted. Jess observed that the Wallace's laughter demonstrated that the energy was visible to all. He noticed how relaxed William was and how Kate had a bright smile as they Kate enjoyed the into scenario the limelight together. with Alessandra Rich shoes and a stunning pulpa dot gown. Kate Middleton walked out in Southampton looking gorgeous. She wore an Alessandra Rich navy and white pulpa dot dress. Kate, Princess of Wales, looked regal as she launched a new residential community today. One small thing, a charity with a mission to rethink the legal system for women and their children, devised and developed it. The princess wore a mid-length pulpa dot gown with balloon half-sleeves and a V-neck. Kate, ever the eco-friendly fashionista, donned this gown at the men's singles final at Wimbledon in 2022. 
She accessorized with a white clutch and white heeled heels today. The outfit was mostly blue, with white polka dots all over it. The balloon sleeves, which tightened in and added dimension against the fitted bodice and skirt, were its most intriguing aspect. It had frills along the neckline and a peplum detail that added to the overall aesthetic. The bodice of the gown also included some huge white and gold buttons. It matches the princess's 12 carats Salem sapphire engagement ring, which is encircled by diamonds. Kate wore Alessandra Rich's silk satin slingback pumps, which are presently on sale for £369, what were formerly priced at £615. She wore them to Wimbledon last year as well. According to the official description, Alessandra Rich invites you to step into the limelight in these slingback pumps. The princess's style today was enhanced with loose waves cascading down below her shoulders. The princess opted for a Kate-inspired cosmetics look that included blush, bronzer, a dark smoky eye, and pink lipstick. According to an expert, expert Princess Kate has a best friend in the royal family, as shown at Ascot. Kate visited Royal Ascot last week when a body language specialist examined her nonverbal communication with another royal attendee who appeared to be her best friend. Princess Kate has a strong bond with another member of the royal family, according to body language expert Judy James. Kate and Duchess Sophie frequently attend royal occasions together, especially now that they have the titles of Princess of Wales and Duchess of Edinburgh. The fact that they are frequently seen conversing and laughing together shows that they are extremely close, having known each other for more than 12 years. Kate was unusually animated and playful as they went out together at Royal Ascot, according to the body language expert. According to Judy, the Princess of Wales is usually less energetic during formally dressed royal occasions. Even at informal gatherings, the princess normally saves reveals of her fun side for body language moments with her husband. When they reunited at Ascot, though, Kate and Sophie's faces lit up when they met and Kate seemed to use a delighted smile of amused friendship as they chatted together. Judy stated that Kate has always demonstrated strong bonding with Sophie, but watching the pair at Ascot may just have cemented them as best friends in the royal family. According to the expert, Kate and Sophie displayed identical body language, mirroring each other, and their tie signs suggest shared inner humor. This is almost the first time we've seen Kate use a rather jolly thumbs-up gesture in public, Judy said. At Ascot, Kate appeared to be picking up on some of her son Louis's playful public traits, and it appeared that Sophie is her trigger friend in terms of casual enjoyment. Kate looked gorgeous in a bright red Alexander McQueen dress, a matching hat, and the 74 pounds Esme gold brass earrings for the fourth day of Ascot. Duchess Stuffy wore a pale pink Susanna London gown and a matching blush pink hat by Jane Taylor, both of which cost £3,200. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.